take you to the Hotel Martinet in Brooklyn, where Bobby Millet and his orchestra are offering a program of dance music. Uh, hallucinations. I felt like I was being puppeted. That these thoughts were being implanted in my head. And many people that he's calling schizophrenic clearly have DID. So there's actually, in fact, mass confusion in the profession. Yet again, the people with multiple personality have more symptoms of schizophrenia on average than people with schizophrenia. Dissociative Identity Disorder. Dissociative Identity Disorder, or DID. Dissociative Identity Disorder. I have a dissociative identity disorder. It was previously called a multiple personality disorder. DID is a mental health condition where people have two or more separate identities. These personalities control their behavior at different times. Each identity has its own personal history, like traits, likes, and dislikes. Songs would you pick? <laughs> Toxic by Britney Spears. Blurry Face by 21 Pilots. Her Name is Alice by Shinedown. Pretty Girl by Stockholm Syndrome. Schizophrenia is a disorder that affects a person's ability to think, feel, and behave clearly. Symptoms can include delusions, hallucinations, disorganized speech, trouble with thinking, and lack of motivation. This is schizophrenia. Schizophrenia. Hey, I don't want anything from you. I just want to know if you're okay. There's a man staring at us through the window. Schizophrenia is hard to understand, leading to misinformation, misconceptions, and misdiagnoses. While DID and schizophrenia have a lot of overlapping symptoms, they are completely different conditions. A major difference is that someone with DID has two or more distinct identity states, sometimes known as alternate identities or alters. This is not present in schizophrenia. DID was formerly known as multiple personality disorder or split personality disorder, but clinicians no longer use this term. In Greek, schizophrenia means split personality, so it's often confused among clinicians. People with schizophrenia experience symptoms that affect their thoughts, behaviors, and feelings, but they don't have multiple distinct personalities. There are a lot of misconceptions surrounding both DID and schizophrenia. With DID and schizophrenia, there is no split personality. Even in DID, they're all a manifestation of a single whole person. Neither condition has one definite cause, but DID is associated with trauma, while schizophrenia is more associated with having certain genes. Most people with DID have a history of severe childhood trauma. It's estimated that 90% of people with DID have a history of neglect or abuse. The condition can arise when a child dissociates as a defense mechanism to escape from an intolerable reality. Experts believe several factors play a role in the development of schizophrenia. One main one is your genes, your environment, brain development and chemicals, and more. Some people with DID might find it more helpful for comorbid disorders like depression, anxiety. Schizophrenia symptoms can a lot of the time be helped by things like antipsychotics. On the other hand, DID doesn't have an approved medication for treatment. Instead, talk therapy, EMDR, DBT, CBT, are utilized with DID. One of the major differences between DID and schizophrenia is the age when the symptoms typically first begin to show up. Schizophrenia usually has a later onset in someone's late teens or 30s. DID symptoms, on the other hand, typically start showing up in childhood. Dissociative symptoms usually start between ages 5 and 10 for people with DID. Someone's first alter might appear around the age of 6, hearing voices, while people with DID or schizophrenia might hear voices, people with DID are reportedly more likely to start hearing them before the age of 18, while people with schizophrenia don't usually start having hallucinations until their late teens or early 20s. There's a huge difference in hearing voices. While both may experience auditory hallucinations, such as hearing voices, people with DID may hear voices with some differences. People with DID typically begin hearing voices early in life, hear more voices, experience voices that talk to one another, hear a combination of adult and child voices, whereas people with schizophrenia most often only hear adult voices. And in DID, people will report missing their voices when they're gone. 
about 1% of adults in the world are living with schizophrenia. One study estimated that healthcare professionals diagnose schizophrenia in 5.1 per 1,000 people in the United States, while DID has anywhere from 0.1 to 1.5% of the population. However, DID is often misdiagnosed, and some people might spend as much as 12 and a half years in treatment before they receive an accurate diagnosis. Some notable differences include memory loss or amnesia. Both can occur in schizophrenia and DID, but it's more common in DID. People with DID also have a higher rate of derealization and depersonalization, according to research. For instance, if someone has switched to a different personality, they might look in the mirror and not recognize themselves. People with schizophrenia may experience depersonalization and derealization, but it is less likely and less often. Cognitive functioning issues and symptoms are often more common in schizophrenia than dissociative disorders. <laughs> There are so many reasons that experts mix up schizophrenia and DID. For starters, research has shown a high co-occurrence between dissociative disorders and schizophrenia spectrum disorders. Between 9 and 50% of people also meet the criteria for a dissociative disorder. They share some symptoms. One of the biggest reasons people confuse the two conditions is their overlapping symptoms. Popular culture portrayals may lead you to believe that hallucinations are unique to schizophrenia. However, people with DID narcolepsy, and bipolar disorder, among with those who abuse certain substances, might also experience hallucinations. <laughs> Symptoms that DID and schizophrenia both have in common are visual and auditory hallucinations, issues with memory, suicidal ideation, difficulty sleeping, delusions, and dissociation. Some of these symptoms are similar, so they might be confused. People with DID are typically more likely to have symptoms that overlap with schizophrenia, the ones that involve altered perceptions, reality, and thinking. Those with schizophrenia who experience dissociative symptoms often went through childhood trauma. DID is sometimes misdiagnosed. Healthcare professionals sometimes misdiagnose DID as schizophrenia. It can be incredibly difficult to get a correct diagnosis of DID. According to research from 2016, only 60% of clinicians were able to accurately diagnose DID in an individual. Clinicians misdiagnose the condition as post-traumatic stress disorder, schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, schizoid personality disorder, borderline personality disorder, you name it. Some clinicians might confuse someone's beliefs that they have multiple identities with them experiencing delusions. The fact that both conditions can involve hearing voices and other overlapping symptoms can make the diagnosis even more complex. The reality is that multiple identities does not equal delusions and hallucinations. Some people will confuse multiple identities or hallucinations of schizophrenia, but they are not the same. Delusions are false beliefs that are not based in reality. If you have delusions, you believe them despite evidence to the contrary, even if everyone else believes otherwise. There may be types of delusions, such as grandiose, bizarre, are somatic and more. Hallucinations are false perceptions. When someone sees, hears, or feels something that is not actually happening, the sensory experience feel real, but they're not. Hallucinations, delusions, multiple identities, also called alternate identities or alters, occur when someone has more than one personality state. The alternate personality may appear to function separately from one another. Alternate identities may have distinct behaviors, memories, expressions, languages, ages, and more. For instance, an alter in a 30-year-old female could be a 12-year-old male. There are a lot of other comorbid conditions that can even further complicate the diagnosis. People with DID particularly have comorbid conditions or symptoms such as PTSD, depression, anxiety disorders, substance use disorder, non-epileptic seizures, SH, a personality disorder, eating disorders, sleep disorders. On top of that, someone with schizophrenia might also experience substance use disorders, anxiety disorders such as panic disorder, obsessive compulsive impulsive disorder, and personality disorders. A lot of this is due to outdated criteria. As we've learned more about mental health, the criteria has become more specific and clear. Not long ago, depersonalization was a big part of schizophrenia diagnosis. Depersonalization is when you feel detached of yourself and your thoughts and feelings. It feels like a out-of-body experience. Neither condition has depersonalization listed as a necessity for diagnosis, but it's now more commonly considered to be part of dissociative disorders. That said, some people with schizophrenia may still have it. So let me know what you guys think about this. How do you tell the difference between DID and schizophrenia? One of my 
main ones is the alternate identity state. That's a big one. <laughs> Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn the bell on if you're feeling risky. Become a member, it starts at 99 cents. Thank you so much to each and every one of my members. I appreciate each and every one of you every single day. Thank you so much for watching this video as always, and goodbye.